when we kick a ball, particularly a soccer ball or a kickball, you want to step and then kick. Notice how my foot is sideways. I want to hit it on this part of my foot, uh, which will make it be more accurate of a, uh, a more accurate kick. And uh, this first step here is what's giving me my power to swing my foot into the ball. So I wouldn't want to step behind because then I might step on the ball or I might miss. You want to step pretty close, almost next to the ball, and then I'm going through with my kick. Uh, today we're shooting at these goals around the gym. Uh, if you're at home, you can set up some cones or something like a cone uh, next to each other to make a goal of some sort, or you could put tape on a wall um, if you're inside or tape on a wall outside. Uh, I will say if you're inside, just make sure you're using a ball that's not gonna break anything. Um, and this also works for passing with a friend. You wanna pass, same kind of kick. Um, facing my target like this, I'm stepping and I'm opening up my shoulders towards my target. Yes, I'm gonna kick it. Um, so I'm gonna kick it towards the wall here. I'm aiming right down this line. If I kick it with my toe, it should go off to the right or left. If I kick it right here on the sweet spot of my foot, I can make it pretty accurate. So pretty close. So that was the goal, it would have been in. If I'm aiming at a smaller goal, we're gonna be about this far away, same kind of thing. So if, if you notice that you're hitting it a little to the left, a little to the right, just adjust yourself. So I hit it left twice, so this time I'm going to open up a little bit this way to try to go right down the middle. So try that at home if you're watching the video, and we're going to do it today here at PE. Hey Bike Road, today we're going to be talking more about our soccer skills, and those skills today are dribbling and stopping. Dribbling is how, when you're playing soccer, you're moving around with the ball. You're gonna keep the ball close in between your feet. Just like this, if I'm going slow. If I'm going a little bit faster, you can kick it further out in front of you. That's how you dribble. Today, we're gonna to dribble down to the end of the bleachers here. And I'm gonna turn around and give my next person in line a good kick and they're going to stop the ball when we stop the ball you're putting your foot out just like this when the ball hits your foot you apply a little bit of pressure to keep it still so I'm gonna dribble down turn around kick the ball with a proper kick using the inside of my foot to the next person in line who's then gonna stop the ball and then they will dribble down I'll go to the back of the line um, Coach Meadows, if you want to come get the pass. Again, I'm going to start here on the white line, dribble down, stop, turn around, he's going to get the pass, he's going to stop the ball, he's dribbling down. Good. Stop the ball, and dribble down, just like that. That's dribbling and stopping.